Today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Their 4th of July sale is running right now, and it's a great time to upgrade your mattress with 25% off and two free pillows. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Welcome back to another episode of Random Roundup. Yiddy up, yeehaw. Where I go around my box hoard of a room and take my grubby little fingers and just grab whatever boxes pique my interest at that moment. Several of them happen to be all from the same pile that was on the floor behind me because I figured this probably need to like go and not be on the floor anymore. And then we sat down and we open up every single one of them, talk about all the products on the inside. So here is our stack for the day. We have new subscription boxes mainly, and then one non-subscription box, and then something interesting. It's definitely the type of box that we have never opened before on the channel, so I'm quite interested in this one. Let's go ahead and start from the top here and get on into the Slay Glam box. Get him up, roll him out, give it up, there it be. What is that cowboy song? Get him up, roll him out, ring me, I would not even Google that. Oh, rawhide. None of the words I was saying were right. Dentistry tools. Also, I am filming this. Uh, it is currently 11.28 at night, so the puppies are, are in bed. It's past their bedtime. <laughs> I'm just getting started. They have a little bundle here with some exciting looking colors on the inside. So this, ooh, that looks fun. <gasps> what is that? Ooh, that looks so cute. I don't know where to start. Okay, I'm gonna start here. Um, the, the very first thing I'm seeing here is some type of glitter magic lip oil, but there's like a pint of beer on the front and I don't know why that's there. I don't know if they're like insinuating that this is gonna taste or smell like beer and I hope I hope neither of those things is the case. It's in the shade 01 and I can't read any of the rest of it. It's just too daggone small. RMT, Romantic Beauty Lip Oil. Why is there a pint of beer on the front? Oh my gosh, it's a little beer bottle or like a soda bottle? Fascinating. It doesn't smell like beer at all. It smells like childhood. <laughs> Two very different things. Oh my gosh, it smells like Claire's makeup. Oh, I like it. What I'm not really 100% sure about is where the pinkness is coming from. So there's like a little bit of pink here on the top and then the doe foot and on the wand itself, there's some pink, but like the actual liquid is very clear. You know, it's kind of green, honestly. Oh, is it color changing? Oh, it's color changing. Oh, I guess that's where the magic comes from. Maybe it's supposed to be butterbeer, like Harry Potter magic. Oh, that pink tint is actually coming in pretty strong, even over the lip liner that I'm wearing like all over my lips is the full lip color. All of the little makeup stuff that just looks so fun and exciting. It looks like we have a bunch of like eyeshadow palettes and stuff, but I'm gonna go for this first. Moira, it is a supernova multi-chrome gel liner. Dang, I'm telling you, some of these smaller boxes just come with the most unique, interesting makeup. Dang, look at that packaging. That's just so different. Ooh, look at that shift. It's a really nice like blue aqua to like a lime green shift. That's so pretty. I feel like we've been getting a lot of duochrome stuff in some of the smaller boxes that we get, and it's been so much fun. I just did that like kind of bar be like 80s makeup look from the ice cream beauty box and I really enjoyed that. Next up we have an Illuminati quad, quad, quad palette. So we have two like super blue aqua shades up top and then like are these black or super intense 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 deep blue stargazing mega blast you hit me like a cosmic blast. That shade that shade is the early 2000s encapsulated that icy blue kind of chunky eyeshadow shade my gosh that has 2005 written all over it. Yeah, this could have been a really fun look if we were doing a full try on. So you have some icy blues and then like the dark shades are either a really, really, really dark blue with like a hint, like a base mode of black or they are black with just a very small hint of blue. I don't know. Are they just silver and gray? I don't know. They're dark though and they're nicely pigmented. So whatever they are, <laughs> I think it's an interesting palette. All right, next up we have the Beauty Creations Sweet Glow and on the front we have some candy and stuff. It's giving very like Candy Crush candy. Especially the ones covered in like all the little sprinkles and stuff. Very much so Candy Crush. Oh, cute! The little tin that it comes in, it's metal and like this is all raised and bumpy and I think that's adorable. Not what I was anticipating at all. <laughs> Not at all what I was anticipating. I thought this was gonna be another eyeshadow palette, but instead uh, we have some highlights and smack dab in the middle, we have a blue highlight. Yeah, dang, this definitely could have been an interesting try on for sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to do another video where I try out some of this stuff because I'm um, doing a full kind of like space agey blue duochrome look would be really fun. I did have some of get upset with me in my last video where I did like a try on because I said duochrome too much <laughs> and I did not appreciate the addition of like the E at the end so very much so duochrome. Sorry about that. I don't realize that I'm doing it. I put E at the end of everything. I'm like oh it's very sphinxy because of the sphinx. This is the Nile Press Pigment Palette and I'm gonna assume we're gonna see a lot more blues and stuff in here. I really like that they stick with a theme. I think that's kind of fun. Oh my goodness yes we do. 
look at that. Oh, another like kind of pickle shade. I love these pickle shades. I think they're so cute. It's like a nice juicy dill pickle. Uh, so we have Sphinx Pyramid, Nile, Luxor, and Cairo. And this looks like a very unique palette. Uh, we're not seeing any type of neutrals in here. There's absolutely no like browns. There's not a brown to be seen. <laughs> it is just blues and greens. And I think that's really fun. I do want to swatch the Sphinx shade. It's just calling out to me and maybe Nile as well. Oh, Nile is very pretty. And yeah, we got to go for the uh, pickle shade. Oh, that Nile. That's so pretty. Again, it's kind of like that icy blue, but there's a little bit of like a green hint to it also. And I think that's so pretty. All right, so that is everything in the Slay Glam Beauty Box. And um, I definitely, I enjoyed this one. I think it's very unique. I love that they stick with a theme. So we have like blues. We got blue highlight. That's definitely different. We got blue here. We got a duochrome with blue and green. This technically looks pretty green and then it turns out pink. I personally think we are off to a pretty good start. <laughs> tuck this back in here like a little burrito. All right, so off to a good start. Let's go ahead and move on here. I do believe that this is she. The first word for our sponsor, Helix. Their 4th of July sale is running right now and it's a great time to upgrade your mattress with 25% off your purchase and to your pillows. Sleeping is one of the things that I enjoy most and Helix makes it even more enjoyable with their premium mattresses. I've had my Helix mattress for a little over two years now and it has improved my sleep so much. I used to wake up very stiff and sore but since switching to Helix, I don't have that problem anymore. I've been partnering with Helix for quite some time now and it's so awesome to see your all's comments saying that you guys have tried Helix as well and you've been loving your mattress. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and beddings that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Helix knows that everyone is different and to ensure you get the best mattress for you, they made a sleep quiz to match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. I personally am a side sleeper who likes a super soft cloud-like mattress and I share my mattress so the sleep quiz matched me with the Helix Sunset Luxe and I think it is the perfect choice. Like I said, I've had my Helix for two years now and I'm just loving the sleep that I get and so does my husband and I don't wake up with my hips and my shoulders killing me anymore which is a great way to start the day. With your Helix mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial and you also get a 10 year warranty and their financing options and flexible payment plans. And the best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up. I set up our king size mattress all by myself. Can you guys hear that? As I'm unwrapping the plastic, it's starting to puff up with air. It sounds like I'm inflating like a kiddie pool or like an air mattress. <laughs> I personally love my Helix mattress. If you think you would too, be sure to check out Helix. It's the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25% off a Helix mattress and two free pillows. Their 4th of July sale is running right now, so be sure not to miss out on this limited time offer. So click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash alexandria to find out more about this limited time offer. And thank you so much to Helix for your continued support of the channel. It means the absolute world to me. Store the, oh my gosh, I read the word supernova one time and I can't stop singing. <laughs> like I'm trying to be a protozoa, but like with the chest cold. That was the single loudest bubble wrap pop I've ever popped before in my life. That rung in my ears. Ooh, they have prices here on the back for us. That's very exciting. I don't think that the other box came with that. I don't think I'm missing it anywhere, but uh, the cheek, cheek, not cheek, cheek, cheek beauty box. It does have the prices here on the back, so we'll save that for last, but let's go ahead and see what we got. Ooh, okay, first up here from Ofra, we have a highlighter. It is, oh, a liquid to baked formula. I don't think I've ever tried that type of highlighter from Ofra, unless that's just what their standard highlight formula is, and I've never read the packaging. It does look very much like a standard Ofra highlight. Yup, so I guess maybe this whole time it's been a liquid to bake formula. I don't know. No. Yeah, that feels the same. That does feel the same. I do like Ofra highlights though. I feel like they give a nice glow and this one has like a whole bunch of different colors in it. So there's one that's more like golden, one that's more pink, one's more kind of peachy champagne-y. So you can see, I did it again, champagne -y. One that is reminiscent of champagne. You can kind of customize your highlight look or just blend them all together, which is probably exactly what I would do. All right, next up here we have, oh, okay, Beauty For Certain. This is the first time I think I've ever gotten anything with outer packaging from Beauty For Certain. I'm not quite sure uh, who this is on the front, if that's like the person who founded it or just a model. I'm not 100% sure, but I like her fuzzy coat. Ooh, this is a matte liquid lipstick. This is also the first time I've received a liquid lipstick from them. Ooh. It's in the shade number 24, but I think that just means a brown. I think that just means straight brown. Um, I think this would be a beautiful shade on a lot of people. I just don't know if I could personally pull off a straight brown lipstick. Oh yeah, that's just chocolate. That looks like melted milk chocolate. Ooh, next up in here we have a SUVA Suva Beauty Hydra Liner. It's in the shade Doodle, and I just, I like like the word doodle. It says doodle matte. I don't know if it's gonna be maybe black. So you have to use a wet makeup brush to apply it. Oh my gosh, it's like dual sided. How on earth am I gonna keep that clean? 
It's a white and a black eyeliner. I don't think I've ever used a white eyeliner, but I feel like that could be kind of fun. I mean, technically I'm sure you could use like the white for maybe a waterline or something if you wanted to, but I'm assuming you can also use it for standard eyeliner purposes, so like a white wing or doing some like graphic liners. Not if you lose the lid though and then it all dries out and you can't use it anymore, hold on. I definitely don't think I have a steady enough hand to do some like really cool graphic liners. I mean, I've seen people take a white liner and do like little clouds or like daisies like on their eyes. How do you do that? <laughs> Absolutely no way my hand could stand that still, but I think that is very fun. I think I've never had an eyeliner like that before, so I'm kind of excited. Oh, they even put in a tiny little brush. Look at this itty bitty little thing. I <laughs> can't get it out. I'm ruining the integrity of the point. Look at this little thing. That's like two and a half hairs. That's so small. <laughs> There's no way my hands could stay sturdy enough, steady enough to be able to like detail with this. That's itty bitty. But it is really nice that they included it with the liner itself because like if you're wanting to do something you know basically doodle on your eyelids you're gonna need something this small why am i putting it back in there that was so hard to get out and finally last but not least we have a palette here this is from a cab cosmetics it is the day and night palette i'm assuming it's gonna be an eyeshadow palette but you honestly never know sometimes it's a blue highlight okay so you know how the first box had like almost no neutral shades that one palette had zero percent neutral shades well this is a nice contrast <laughs> so this is a very you know, there's some fun colors in here, but most of these are very warm neutral. So this is quite a standard palette for us to see in a subscription box, which is fine. I'm always happy to see a palette. I feel like you're getting a good value when you get a palette, uh, but they are just a little bit on the standard side. But honestly, the standard side is what I typically wear. I just get real excited when I see like fun, exciting makeup and subscriptions, even though I standardly don't wear them. That is everything for box number two, the Chic Beauty box. This one was definitely okay. There was a bunch of makeup in it. I really love getting makeup. Um, the, This eyeliner is just very fascinating to me. I'll have to give it a try. The highlight is nice. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll wear the brown liquid lipstick, but I mean, this was a very okay box. It just wasn't as like fun and exciting as the first one, but this one was probably more wearable than the first one. All right, moving right along here to this. I think it got very wet. It looks like it's gotten very wet. This kind of like crinkledy wrinkledy look fantastic box. Now I did have a glossy box setting up here, but I think I'm going to do a standalone glossy box unboxing because I got an email that said that I think it might be the last glossy box we're ever getting. However, glossy box and look fantastic beauty box are owned by the same company and technically the, I think they're basically the same box. So I'm not really sure why this one is still shipping out and that one is not. Maybe that will also change. <sighs> Oh, I didn't give you guys the prices for the Chic Beauty Box. Gosh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, $52. The Cap Cosmetics Day and Night Eyeshadow Palette is $52. That's a little on the expensive side. The Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter is $35. Beauty for Certain Matte Liquid Lipstick is $22. That was a full size for $20? Just that big. The SUVA Beauty Hydro Liner in Doodle is $16. And the SUVA Little Liner Brush is $13. For a grand total of $138. So that's not terrible. A lot of that money is coming from that Cap Cosmetics Cosmetics palette and I just think 52 bucks it's kind of a lot that's kind of a lot also I don't know if you guys can tell but I have kind of been losing my voice I have had a very sore throat I've not been feeling fantastic so sorry about that I'm kind of sounding a little groggily froggily dang it I did it again all right let's get on into this box here I was making all sorts of faces so I've, I've seen stuff so let me just pull out the first thing that I'm seeing here which is just a very interesting bottle of aloe vera it's good to have around it's always nice to have some aloe vera around this is 99% aloe vera it is a soothing gel it's good for burns and things like that but you can get like giant tubs of aloe vera and I'm I I'm fairly certain it would do the same thing I mean this is a very cute container of it almost like slightly threatening I don't know just something about it I'm gonna assume this probably isn't like the most expensive item to put inside of a beauty box like this is definitely something you could get at the drugstore and then the next thing I picked up and looked at it said rose of course right across it which will always an elicit kind of like a reaction from me it's just going to I can't hold it in but this is also a facial tanning mist from mine tan body skin it's in free used with rose water. Why is talking so hard right now? I just really wish it didn't smell like freaking rose. How bad is it? Oh, okay. That's very mild. That's not that bad. Next, let's go for this little squeezy thing here. This is a, oh, Philip Kingsley Pure Color Frizz Fighting Gloss. So I'm assuming this is for color treated hair, which I do have color treated hair and it's a gloss to make it all nice and shiny. All right, so this little box looks cute. This is a Revolution Makeup Brow Soap Plus care with added jojoba castor oil to help nourish and protect 
the brows. I actually still don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's a brow wax. They're calling it a brow soap. I'm assuming it's not like specific soap to wash your eyebrows with. That would be silly. Um, so I'm assuming it's like, you know, like the clear kind of pasty stuff to make your eyebrows all fluffy. And I'm fairly certain they call them soap brows because people use like literal actual soap to make their eyebrows look like that. Ooh, this packaging is so smooth. Ooh, I like that. Okay, yeah, it is just a little thing of I'm sure like a paste or pomade. Maybe it is actual just soap. Oh my gosh, it smells like soap. Is this literal soap? I kind of feel like using soap was kind of like a cheap and expensive hack to get your brows to be fluffy like that. So it's interesting that they're packaging like a little thing of soap and selling it for I'm sure more than soap costs. Anyway, uh, that is next. And then we go on here to some NARS. This is a NARS blush. I wonder what shade it's in. Oh heavens, I'm so shocked. In the shade orgasm because that it always is. It's never anything different. It is always this blush. And this will be the 3000th time that I'm looking at it, but I still am going to open it and look at it. It's a little. Yeah, there she is, you know, just her in all of her glory. Just the pinnacle of blushes. Like this is like the blush. When I think about blush, I think about this blush because this is the only blush we get from NARS ever. And then last but not least, we have this little stick here. This is from Luvia Cosmetics and it is in eyeshadow primer. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I'm sure Sure, that's good and fine and lovely and dandy and stuff. Not exactly the most exciting product, but you know, it's a utilitarian product. So yeah, there it is. There's our little box of stuff. We technically got, you know, one true makeup item. This is like a base product. We have some for hair. We got a face tanner. We got some soap and then a little uh, threatening aloe vera stick. Look fantastic. <laughs> Look fantastic and glossy box have never been my favorite boxes and they are the same company and basically the same box. So that, that makes sense. It makes sense as to why both of them have just never really been my personal favorites, but I do prefer getting makeup and a lot of this stuff has always been skincare. However, I also do think it is a little bit on the smaller side, a little bit on the boring side. I think next I'm gonna go for the color, I think next I'm gonna go for the ColourPop PR box here because this last box is very different from the other boxes. So we'll stick with like makeup stuff right now. I love ColourPop, they're just, the packaging is fun, the colors are fun, they're pretty inexpensive and I've just always really enjoyed them. Ooh, this looks fun. There's like a color sheet here. Oh, that's a lot of lip <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a lot. I guess I should have known from all the circles. I don't think I have every single one of these. That would be so many, but there are a lot of lip products in here. Wow. So we have ultra matte lips, ultra blotted lips, and ultra glossy lips, uh, which is so many different shades. All right, so I think these are all of the ultra matte lips. We have some really bright intense shades. We also have some kind of deep berries and some reds. So we have Clock Out, Toast, Bumble, LAX, and Fifth Avenue. Which one do I like the best? I probably only got to swatch like one per little bundle of things. Oh, I guess we only got one glossy lip. Oh no, I didn't, I just can't read, okay. I'm trying to figure out which one I think that I would see me wearing most. I'm gonna look at the little color guy here. They are all really pretty shades. It might be a little bit too much for me, but uh, I just really don't wear a lot of like liquid lipsticks anymore, so I don't want to waste them. You know what? I'm kind of almost thinking I might go for this really like deep, intense kind of red berry shade. Brownish kind of lighter shades that some of these others are, but this one I don't really have a lot of, and I might not get a ton of use out of it, but if I'm looking for that kind of vampy shade, I feel like this could be really nice. Ooh, it smells like frosting. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Like 2013, 14, 15 me would be all over this color. Oh my gosh, that's actually really, really pretty. That's just such like an intense, really deep wine red. Okay, I might actually go ahead and try this on just because it's so pretty. Hey, maybe I shouldn't try this one on just yet because I do have like a gloss and a blotted lip to try on. So I'm gonna try this one on last after we do the other shades. All right, we'll go for the glossy lips next. It looks like there are two different finishes. They're pearlized and cream. So you have a bubblegum cream right here. This is sugar cookie pearlized. Ditto cream and it girl pearlized. I don't know if I prefer a pearlized or a cream. This it girl one is really pretty though. I like that shade. Tasty. It's actually really smooth. It goes on nicely. Uh, I do like the shade. I can't obviously really tell exactly what it looks like because I have on lip colors multiple at this point. The realizedness of it isn't like really glittery or anything, is it? Maybe like real small glitter, but it's not like big chunky glitters or anything. It just looks like nice and shiny. That's cute. For the ultra blotted lips, we have espresso martini, rose latte, keep it classy, and doozy, which I think is also a very fun word. Doozy and doodle. Two fun words of the day. I personally think I'm gonna like the espresso martini 
Skinny. I know it's really brown and I didn't try on the liquid lipstick that was very brown, but I feel like it, but I feel like the liquid lipstick would be more of an intense color and I don't really actually I don't know if I know what a blonde lip is, but I don't feel like it's gonna be as intense as a matte liquid lip. So I'm gonna try this one on. Oh my lips are stained pink. Oh my goodness, <laughs> they're stained very pink from that like magical bottle of beer. Ew. Okay, so that's not at all what I was anticipating uh for the, the feel of it to be. It's kind of like I don't know. It's very almost powdery. It's not powder, but like it feels kind of soft and powdery. The texture is much different than I was anticipating, but I do actually I like this shade. I think it's nice. Um it's a little bit different for me. I think it is pulling a little bit more pink than it probably would because my lips are so stained from the other lip gloss. But I like the idea of a blotted lip because I really don't like a full intense lip color anymore. Like I used to love liquid matte lipsticks, but now like that is just too much color in my lips. So anything I put on, I really do sheer it out and kind of blot it out. So I like this. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the matte liquid lipstick, even though I just got done with my spiel saying so I don't like really intense colors on my lips anymore. But I think this is gonna be a very appropriate color for the box that's coming next. <laughs> it's so intense. Oh my goodness, okay, okay, Oh, I feel like I have to be so careful and precise with this because one little slip up. I'm not quite sure my natural lip line actually is anymore. I've, I've drawn past it and I can't find it again. It's too deep and dark. I'm telling y'all, like mid-college me would have eaten this lip color up. I would have worn this every single day. It's so deep, dark, vampy. It's drying my lips out a little bit because that's what a matte liquid lipstick does. But uh, man, oh, it's kind of taking me back. Wow, <gasps> with my side part, <gasps> oh my gosh, I probably look a lot like my profile picture right now which I have not changed since I started my channel like seven years ago. If I was just a little bit paler and like the camera was more blown out like this would be me in my profile picture. I kind of have like an evil glare like a downward kind of like does it look like me? <laughs> I'm sure the resemblance is uncanny. Okay, wow. Anyway, uh, that was fun. So now I feel like it's a very appropriate time since I have this on my lips to move on to our final box of the day, which is this one here. I honestly have no idea if I ordered this or if this was just sent to me. Either way, thank you. Thank you to the company or whoever it was that sent this my way, or uh, thank you to me for ordering it for me and then forgetting about it. It's like a gift. But this is some type of like fun, like kind of witchy subscription, which I love stuff like that. I love Halloween. I love like the October fall times. I I just, I love spooky season. So uh, this seems a very fun to me. It's actually called the witch box. And I ripped open this box because it didn't look like a subscription I was used to. And I didn't read even reread -re what it said. And I just opened the box. And this is what I saw. Look how fun. There's a very pretty card with some artwork on it. And then we have a little book here. Oh, this is actually the June box. That's fun. Welcome to your June box. The theme of this month's box is goddess. This has been one of the top requested themes. So we're delighted to bring you your goddess box. Very cool. It says their boxes are suitable for vegetarians and are cruelty free. The majority of their packaging is recycled biodegradable, eco-friendly, and they're working with clean ocean initiatives. So that's pretty fun. Very good. First thing I'm seeing are maybe like some stickers. Oh, they're tattoos. Heck yeah. There's like a moon and a sun and some pretty ladies. I don't have water. Oh, I have my jug of water. Let me see. What are we going to do here? Oh, the section's not very good. Okay. There we go. There we go. And it slides right off. Look at that. Just like a cool little crescent moon with some like flames around it. Or like sun rays. That might make sense. But uh, yeah. Now I got myself a wrist tattoo. Ooh, a little thing of parchment. <gasps> Pretty. I like that. Charge of the goddess. So this is just a little piece of paper talking about goddesses and stuff. I don't know. I, I just think it's pretty. I really like the kind of like lithograph lookingness. Nice. A little box in here. Oh, they're incense. I feel like I can't bend my wrist without my skin sticking together. <laughs> oh, they're purple. All right, so we have 20 incense sticks and they are purple. They smell good. I don't know if like they actually smell like grape or just my brain sees purple and I'm like, it's grape. Oh, uh, but they do, <laughs> they do smell like they have a hint of grape. There's like a hint of Welch's in there. Some very fun crinkles. These two are going to go in my crinkle bag. Oh, speaking of bag, look at this little thing. It's a very cute kind of orange velvety bag with a little golden top to it. There's cards. Okay, listen, I don't, I know nothing of any of this. I don't, but I really love the art style of, of all of this kind of stuff. Like, look how pretty the black with the gold. Oh, it's just so pretty. These cards are beautiful and they feel so nice. Like, these are so smooth. I don't necessarily know what these would be used for or anything, but I just think they are so super pretty. Oh, and then we have a candle on here very busty lady. My goodness. <laughs> wow, my goodness. Yes, okay, quite curvy. <laughs> quite curvy indeed. I could never. No. 
Oh no, I could never, no. Oh, there's like a little necklace like pendant in here. That's kind of fun and cute. Again, I'm not quite sure what like the symbolism and that kind of stuff behind it is. I like the little orange uh, strings and stuff on it. Maybe not my personal style, but you know, it's it's cute. Oh my goodness, this is a spell kit. Oh wow, a spell for safe travels. There's like actual seasonings in here. So <laughs> it's just a little rolled up again, par parcel of parchment. And then we have some parsley, some, oh, there's tiny little vials. Okay, we have parsley, seaweed, and garlic powder, but in the seaweed, there's just an itty bitty tiny little vial. Can you guys see that? With the tiniest little cork stopper in it. That's very cute. Ooh, the garlic powder smells really good actually. I love garlic. Again, I really like the imagery and stuff, like the old globe and things. It just kind of looks like worn and old. I think that's fun. Ooh, there's two things left in here. There's a magical charm and there's a little rock. <gasps> Cute. Just a tiny, itty bitty little charm and it comes on like a claw clip. Is that what that's called? Like a lobster claw? I'm making that up. Is that, what is this called? <laughs> just a tiny, itty bitty little silver charm. Again, don't really know what it stands for or anything. I'm sure the book would tell us more about that. And then finally, the last thing in here. Where'd you go? is what I'm assuming is a little crystal. And I've seen so much about crystals recently. It is all over my TikTok. It's all over everywhere. So this is just a little empty crystal. Oh, it's pretty. It's kind of yellowy. It's very shiny and smooth. And I have absolutely no idea what it is. So let's go ahead and look at this little book here and see if we can get some more ideas on things. This is a yellow calcite crystal. Ooh, for deep relaxation. I definitely, I could use some deep relaxation. That sounds real nice. And then this is apparently a little goddess charm that could be added to a charm bracelet. And and then the uh, necklace is also a goddess necklace. And that tells you about all the items more in depth here in the little booklet. I, this is kind of fun. This is definitely different. I've definitely never done a box like this before on my channel. Um, I don't think I ordered this. I, I don't remember, to be fully honest. I don't think I did though. But thank you so very much for sending it my way. It's definitely something I've never experienced before. It's definitely unique and different for the channel. So yeah, this was a lot of fun. Sorry guys, I started losing a lot of energy towards the end there. Um, I'm just not feeling fantastic. So sorry about that. And it is almost one o'clock in the morning. So I uh, started getting a little bit on the sleepy side. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this random roundup. We definitely will be doing more because I have so many boxes. <laughs> so many. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. What was your favorite box? What was your least favorite box? I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you wouldn't mind. I mean, the absolute world to me. I also hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Bye.